Good morning. It's Friday, September 4th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Darkness, the Absence of Light, and our scripture is Exodus chapter 10. Then the Lord said to Moses, Lift your hand toward heaven, and the land of Egypt will be covered with a darkness so thick you can feel it. So Moses lifted his hand to the sky, and a deep darkness covered the entire land of Egypt for three days. During all that time, the people could not see each other, and no one moved. But there was light as usual where the people of Israel lived. This is the beginning of the ninth plague God brought to bear in Egypt. It wasn't so much as to punish Egypt as to create understanding among Israel that their God was not to be trifled with. Darkness is not just scary, it's ominous, it's foreboding and just plain frightening to the soul. In the scheme of what was happening, the plague of darkness preceded God's next and final plague, the death of the firstborn. Egypt would pay a terrible price for growing wealthy on the backs of Jewish slaves for 400 years. I've seen enough darkness in my life, darkness of all kinds. I've seen nature get dark, an absence of light. It's strange to hold your hand up supposedly right in front of your eyes and not be able to see a finger or a knuckle. I've also seen the darkness of the absence of human kindness in the way we treat each other. There's also been the cold indifference of nature's dark disasters, hurricanes, twisters, tsunamis, floods, erupting volcanoes, and the devastation of war. Darkness of the soul and absence of God's presence is the worst. What's so noteworthy about the Exodus text is that for God's people, the momentary darkness of judgment over Egypt did not affect them. Moses records that there was light as usual where the people of Israel lived. How like God to keep the promise of his presence. It's always been thus for God's people. When the world grows darker, the light of Christ comprehends the void. It defeats darkness with peace in the soul. John 1, 5, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never extinguish it. There's a darkness today that's not just covering Egypt, but the entire world. The modern day darkness shows up in the masks we wear and the way people stumble around in the absence of light. From the chaos we observe with rioting, looting, and escalating violence, it's obvious darkness is having its day. Yet, there's an amazing calmness among God's people. It's like the world is going mad with darkness stirring the pot. But in God's camp, there's light as usual. For you today, pandemic is a word that's all too familiar in 2020. The unanswered question of how soon this darkness will be chased by the light of a cure and vaccine. But the unrest and dark ways are more disturbing than the virus. So let's let the Apostle Paul have the last word today of what kind of perspective we must have in light of the darkness. Philippians chapter 4. Paul writes, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.